some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in St. Louis, Missouri at the State Office Building where we find Central Tyrant Investigations as he is, well, summarily kicked out of the building. And, uh, well, this is actually supposed to be part one of the original video that I posted the other day, but you know how frauditors are. They uh, tend to post things in reverse order, and therefore you gotta work around it somehow. So with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? What's going on, CTI fam? Today we are in downtown St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, guys, we are going to be going to the state office building here. This is the uh, Children's Social Security um, building. So uh, we're going to be going inside of here, exercising our First Amendment right to record in the public building. In the now, why would it surprise me anymore that these frauditors tend to go after uh, children's services kind of things? I mean, it really makes me question uh, the morality of a lot of these frauditors of what they're really up to. I mean... It Really does make you wonder. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Are you Joe? Who? Joe? No. No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, what's your name? Oh, uh, I go by James. James? <laughs> yeah. I'm just doing a tour of the facility. He told me to come talk to you. So. Joe told you to come talk to you? Uh, right. Whoever the security guard is, yeah. So, who are you doing? Who are you with? I'm, so, I'm a free press journalist. I just do, like, uh, individual stories and stuff about what f the facility is and what it does and what services they have. So. Okay. Bullshit! Bullshit! Yeah, that's such a predictable line, you doofus. We all know that you're not a journalist. A journalist would know where to go and where not to go. A journalist wouldn't go around annoying people to no end. And a journalist would understand that some people don't want to be on film and they would blur their faces out. And that's because frauditors have no journalistic ethics. <laughs> so you cannot go past, past the second floor. You can only do the, the first floor here. Okay. And Is it like, is it all like key card access only? Pardon me? Is it only like key card access only? Uh, some of the floors are key card access only. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going into the, like the public areas of the public lobby. So like if any place has like a public lobby, I just get like the information on the walls and then I like turn it into a story. So. I can't let you go past the first floor because if you don't have actual business with child support. Yeah, I, ha I have business. So I want to fill out some paperwork for your requests and whatnot. So. For child support. Yeah. Is there is there like any other? So it's gonna be like for it's like a FOIA request. I just do that, um, and I get information and I put it into the story. Or I may not put it into the story. Okay, so. but what you have to understand is we have actual people up there. Correct. That to date, I have not seen a single frauditor actually publish a newsworthy event. And a lot of those uh, newsworthy events that they think are newsworthy are actually just them harassing public officials that uh, dared question them to begin with. And uh, that's the ultimate sin against a frauditor. Don't question their authority to be a First Amendment auditor, the, the, a title that they made up because they want the people to lick their boots. I mean, that's all there is to it. Yeah, for their own I can I can wait. I, I won't, you know, get in their way or anything like that. So I don't know that I can let you up there. If you want to, if you want to photograph parts of the building down here, that's fine. I can let well, like, you. is the public allowed to go up there and do service? As long as they have business. Yeah, so I have business, so I'm allowed to go up there. That's what I'm saying. It's a public building. <laughs> well, to a degree, it's a public. Building. Well, yeah, there's restricted areas inside the public building, but I can just stay in the public areas, the public lobbies. And... Are you filming right now? Yeah, I, I record all the time. Could you please turn it off while you're talking to me? Huh? Could you please turn it off while you're talking to 
Well, I was told to come in here to speak with you. I didn't know if you were you expecting me. I was under the impression that you were someone else. Oh, somebody else? Okay. Yeah, I can get out of this area if you want. But I'm just going to... Uh, well, it's gonna. It's always recording. It's part of my story. I can't just stop the recording. You do not have my permission to record me. Huh? You do not have my permission to record me. Ma'am, you're in public, though. Yeah, you see? No journalistic integrity whatsoever. A uh, actual journalist would actually blur their face out if they didn't want to be on uh, film. But you're not an actual journalist. You have no actual... Uh, journalistic integrity you have no morals and you have no ethics i mean that's a fraud order for you but you know in this particular case i decided that i was going to do the right thing and blur her face out for you so i'm sure in the future if somebody knows this uh, lady's name uh, they can contact her and let her know uh, that they can definitely file a privacy strike on this channel should she so desire and well there's not a thing you can do about it but whine cry and complain I'm just going to be doing a, a quick little tour around this facility. Nothing nefarious. Uh-huh. And let me know when Elvis gets here. The children's go. services on. There's a car. You got to go. Huh? You got to leave. Why? You just got to leave. No question. Like, what do you mean? I just got to talk to my supervisor. She said you have to leave the premises. Who, her? Yes, sir. For what? I'm just going off of what she said about you. Well, this is a public building, though. I don't have to leave. I have service to conduct, though. What I'm going up to the Children's Services, fill out some FOIA requests. So, what's the camera? I document everything. So, I'm a free press journalist. I do stories about different uh, facilities and whatnot. So. I mean, anybody. She could tell me I have to go because she doesn't like the clothes I'm wearing. That's why there has to be a law behind that. If she, if she said you have to leave, you have to leave. Well, I don't have to. Yeah, the legendary frauded or bullshit myth about, uh, you can't trespass me from public. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, you can be trespassed out of a building. You can be criminally trespassed. You can be arrested for trespassing. It happens all the damn time with you frauditors. And yet you continue to lie about this. You continue to spread this falsehood that, uh, well, you're only your audience seems to eat up, but nobody with a, well, a grain of intelligence. Who is this? The supervisor just a supervisor? That's our, that's our supervisor. Yeah, but I'm in a public building, just staying to the public areas. But I haven't done anything, you know, nefarious or anything like that. I'm just sticking to the public areas of the public building, that's it. Okay. Well, I mean, like, why are you guys... I'm listening to my supervisor, but have to leave. It's a public building, though. So basically, I was talking to her. This is what we need you to do. I need you to follow directions. This is the security here. I'm the officer here. They say you have to leave the premises. You're a deputy sheriff? Yes, I am. You have to leave the premises. Whoa, well, careful now. You got a YouTube law expert on your hands right here. This man has studied for minutes and minutes on the Constitution. And, uh, well, he says that you can't trespass him from any public building, even though, well, the Tenth Amendment apply, applies here, and uh, so does state laws. And, well, uh, apparently, uh, to the fraud editor, those don't even exist either. But whatever, this idiot is about to get a reality check anyway. What for, though? Like, that's this, what I was asking. I, I listen, this is what I'm explaining to you. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't owe you no any explanation. Well, you the do. The supervisor You're of the building said I was just wondering, that you like, have to leave. The security guard said that you have to leave. But I now, haven't done let's anything. Go. I have business, though. Let's, let's go. You're let's, barking up the wrong go. tree, bud. Let's go, man. You're barking right. up the wrong tree. Okay, we need you to are, go. Because I know it's I'm okay. that chair. Too. Okay, that's he fine. Lets me do it let's go. Now you're putting let's hands go. on me. I'm, I'm asking you to leave. And I'm asking you to leave. I'm asking you to leave. I'm asking you to leave. Putting his hands on me. The supervisor said you have to leave the building. I haven't done anything nefarious. Listen, you have to leave the building. You have to leave the building. You keep pushing me. I'm going to defend myself, man. Oh, I'm so scared.
Yeah, go ahead and do that, dude, uh, and see how much time you get for assault on a police officer. Yeah, go ahead and do that, uh, frauditor. I'm sure we would all love to see you try it, because, well, we all want to see a frauditor do something really stupid like that and end up in jail. Yeah, go for it, dude. Defend yourself, then. Oh, there you go, grabbing go your hand. Look at him, guys. We have Come a tyrant right here. Come on, let's go. Ignorant. Okay. Yep. This fool keeps putting his hands on Let's me go. for nothing. I'm not doing I'm anything to leave the building. And if I don't, Let's what go. will happen? Threat of arrest? I... <sighs> Would I get arrested if I don't leave? That's what I'm asking you. Where's the supervisor at? You want him to leave the building? You what to what leave have I done, seat? man? Come on. Let's go. What have... Let's go. You, the, the, you, try it. You, keep, you don't you want to do that. No, you keep pushing, on. putting your hands Let's on me. Go. I have the right to Let's defend go. myself. Okay, try it. Try it. You're leaving the building. You're leaving the building. And if I don't leave, will you're I be leaving arrested? The, that's you're what I'm leaving asking the building. You. You're leaving the building. You can record me, sir. That's fine. I'm okay with that. You're going to be have, fired. I have a, you're going to be fired. I have a security You're going to be fired. And the supervisor You're going to be fired. And I have several you're gonna gonna be saying fired. that you have to leave. You're going to be fired. Well, at least this man has a job uh, that he can be terminated from. But what have you got in life? I mean, it's quite clear from the other video that you posted that uh, you've never had a job in your life. Which kind of makes me wonder, how long have you been on welfare for? I mean, you can't have uh, been doing this frauditing thing forever. You're not tough, dude. You think you're I'm, a tough guy. I'm not, I'm not trying to be tough. I will have your job in two seconds. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just, and just, look how close just, you're getting to just me, Just leave man. the premises. Look how close leave you're getting. The, you're putting your hands on me? Leave the premises. Wow, Thank guys, you. he just put his hands on me. Thank you. You're a tyrant, dude. You're an ignorant fool. Okay. You don't know the law. Okay. What law? You have to leave. That? The supervisor said you have to leave. For the what? The supervisor though? said that you have to leave the building. Stop putting your hands on me, okay. boy. Okay. Try. It. Keep putting Try your it. hands on me. Okay. Okay. God. Okay. You can record. No, I'm, I'm calling the cops. The building. You... Call the cops. Yeah. Call you're putting them. you're putting your hands on Call me for them. no reason. You have to leave. Now this uh, fool ends up calling the cops on. Uh, the people of the building right here, but it really doesn't go anywhere. In fact, I'll leave a link in the description box below, and that and you'll see how far it really goes. It doesn't go too far with this idiot. Uh, I'll let you know right now, he's not going to ever get back into that building the way he acts. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?